We will no longer be faceless. We will no longer be silent. We will fight for those who feel that they do not have a voice. We will stand together in this fight. We will not retreat until justice is served. Former athletes are urging the University of Michigan's governing board to launch a full investigation into decades of sexual abuse allegations against a late doctor. Thanks for joining us tonight for the News at 5. I'm Meg McLeod. David is on assignment and will join us in just a few minutes. More victims are speaking out, saying U of M failed to stop Dr. Robert Anderson's sexual abuse of hundreds of students over four decades. As TV 5's Frank Turner reports, the victims say it's time Time to speak up for justice. Dozens of former University of Michigan athletes in Ann Arbor today demanding the U of M Board of Regents release documents regarding the Dr. Robert Anderson scandal to the Michigan Attorney General. Hundreds of men claiming abuse at the hands of Anderson over the course of four decades. The late U of M football coach Bo Schembechler's son Matt coming forward with his own sexual abuse allegations against the team doctor, saying his father knew, though other Schembechler family insisting the late coach did not. Anderson left the university 17 years ago, dying four years later. The Board of Regents must today authorize the University of Michigan to fully and completely cooperate with an independent investigation by Attorney General Dana Nessel's office now. The former athletes and students asking regents use their meeting tomorrow for taking action, claiming it's clear there's a broken culture at U of M allowing sexual misconduct to continue. Last year, the school settling with victims in another case for nine and a quarter million dollars. So Board of Regents, so the University of Michigan, say my name. Because the time is now for all of you who have been abused here to speak up for justice. We will speak. Because every victim matters. I matter. I am not John Doe. I am John Vaughn. Anderson survivors asking regents open all Anderson documents to scrutiny and cooperate in the state investigation. Frank Turner, WNEM TV 5.